we cut our first piece of encores. Gonna tear off the uh, part of the split backing. It's a triple split backing. And this will allow us to establish a sort of a line of sight as to where we're near the membrane. As you can see, we're over flashing the existing tape flashing. So we're going to shingle flash this membrane up into the existing RO. Take the peel and stick backing off. Use the press fix. And we can get a nice flat seam. Get into, work our way into the corner. Take our next layer of exto seal. And you could measure this. I typically just like to eyeball it. And we're going to shingle flash from the bottom up. Leave it a little bit behind the uh, existing drainage plane. You can see we'll basically bring the bottom of the exto seal right down to the to the top of the foundation. Stick it in place. Now this is where the exto seal really sort of shines as a product. With most bituminous membranes and butyl tapes, you find yourself in a situation where as you're going around the corners, you need to uh, flash the corners or cut the corners in order to be able to flash around the corners. The uh, exto seal is formulated to be pretty pliable and flexible. So as we tear this release paper off, we can carefully sort of work the exto seal around into the RO. And you see, I like to adhere the center first, establishes a baseline. And then you can literally stretch the encores into the RO and maintain continuity of that flashing membrane around the corners. This is a really sort of a, a nice feature of this particular product. Now let's give it a little slap. And you can see we can fold that butyl tape right into the RO and maintain total continuity of the of the material to the substrate and total continuity of the weather barrier. Um, I'm a huge proponent of dedicated control layers. So for me, whether it's a airtight layer, a watertight layer, a wind tight layer, uh, the idea is to achieve total continuity um, and this is designed in such a way that once the window is installed, if installed properly, the window actually becomes part of the weather barrier, right? As it gets flashed and taped right into the existing weather barrier and has total continuity uh, and is waterproof continuously to the exterior. Um, and the same principles apply to uh, airtight layers and wind tight layers and thermal layers as well. This is the trickiest uh, part of the application because you actually have to uh, grab the butyl with both hands at the same time. So I try to leave uh, one piece of 
backing on, you can see how sticky that is, so that I can use my fingers to set the uh, flashing so that I only have to touch it basically with my pinkies and forefingers. And then, as we talked about, we'll basically lay it down and shingle flash over the existing material. And work it up into the corners. Now that's the majority of our flashing pan. Now if you look at, these are, uh, this is a prefabricated wall system. Um, if you notice, for shipping, we shipped all of our windows. These are floor to ceiling windows, and our windows were shipped with a uh, continuous sill plate to the interior load bearing portion of the wall. So what we're going to do is we're flashing this window um, and we're also going to finish our pans of our flashing and make that continuous up to the sides of the uh, RO. I'm going to measure out the width of the rough opening and we're just going to run this exto seal back continuously and uh, We'll use this as an opportunity to seal up uh, that 2x4. Um, and if you notice, the 2x4 is uh, SPF KD spruce, um, FSC certified lumber. It is not pressure treated lumber because um, we have a wood to wood connection. Uh, even in our wood to masonry connections, we're using another ProClima product called ExtoSeal Phenoc, and we're putting that underneath our sill plate uh, as basically a capillary break for the uh, wall to foundation connection. Push down in there. This tape sticks extremely well to almost all materials, especially itself. Um, see the bond to the EPS is, is pretty impressive. Uh, it's also a time sensitive adhesive so the longer it's there the more tack it will have. And so there's our much easier to do it from the bottom up. And there you have it, They're properly flashed and water and weather tight rough opening, basically ready for a uh, window installation. So the window is going to basically sit right here. For this particular installation, we set the walls down and the siding has to plane out. The architectural detail is that the siding basically planes out the exterior of the perimeter insulation of the crawl space. So we had to set the panels back. Uh, the architect also chose to set the back cord or flange of the eye joist on the foundation as well. So mm. what it created was a situation when we set the walls that the weather barrier was now inside the exterior plane of the wall assembly or the foundation assembly rather. Um, so what we've done is we have a continuous weather barrier. That weather barrier is then back flashed toward the bottom part of the uh, strapping and the flying battens off and taped the weather barrier down onto the foundation to create continuous drainage plane. Um, and then when we put the uh, core vent on and the bottom piece of strapping, that'll maintain both a continuous uh, convection plane and a continuous drainage plane down to daylight. Uh, the exterior, 
veneer of the uh, of the EPS will be stucco, and then this will be flashed into the WRV with a redundant decorative uh, galvalume flashing back up underneath. So it's really a double redundant flashing system. Um, we're using Tesca and Vanna to tape the WRB down to the foundation, and we're using uh, Exto Seal. Encores for the flashing, for the pan flashing for the windows.